Thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. We hope you guys are having a great time. Are you having fun? How much are my balls falling out? Just a little bit? Just one? That's unfortunate. Usually they're like... You see the like Jiggly Caliente coming out of my legs. <laughs> Are you guys getting drunk yet? I'm, I'm already a little drunk. <laughs> Adore and I just flew in uh, this afternoon and I, I know that I'm quite wasted, so... If I'm quite wasted now, I'm assuming that I just have to get really good later, okay? <laughs> because we better get... <laughs> Anyways, are you guys enjoying All Stars? on Boxtel because of this bitch. So thank you, Karen, for making that happen. That's an amazing thing. Not only for you guys, but for us as well, because it's awesome that we get to like share our love of the art of drag with the world. And you made it huge. It's, it's your doing, but that's being aired here, so thank you. Yeah, the whole idea, I guess the more people that fucking see it, the more people that are gonna buy tickets to the show, the more times we can bring detox out there. Yeah. This is like my third or fourth time here this year alone. I love, I mean, I fucking, I'm like a dual citizen. I fucking love Australia. You guys are amazing. You guys are probably like the best crowd ever. And we love coming here. So thank you guys for always being so, so loyal and appreciative. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, detoxing would be so wrong with me to have you up here and not ask you a single thing about All Stars 2. Okay. <laughs> Can I have a cocktail? Yeah, actually, she can have the drunker I get, the looser my lips. Come on. <laughs> Part of me wants to ask you about. Do I trust you? About it? I don't know if I trust you, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. It's a cocktail. <laughs> I like to take risks. Part of, <laughs> Part of me wants to ask her about RuPaul's outfits. Part of me wants to ask her about the challenges. But mainly, I just care about Fifi. <laughs> that means one person. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Honestly, you know what? Let me talk about Fifi since we're talking about it. Fifi is, Fifi is an amazing person. She's awesome, really. She truly is. But. When it comes to being in a competitive situation like RuPaul's Drag Race, especially All Stars, you never, I mean, I wouldn't say they're her true colors, but she is a competitive person, and a competitive nature sometimes does shady shit. So don't judge the book by the cover, yes. honestly, because she is a lovely person. But when it comes to like being in that kind of a situation, shit happens. That's all I'll say. She's lovely, she's so talented, but when it comes to competing, she's a bitch. But that is not something to knock her for, you know what I mean? All this bullshit death threats, that's bullshit. You can be a nasty individual, but still be a human being, you know what I'm saying? And she is a beautiful human being, and I love that bitch. Absolutely. You know what? what personally, I was chatting to a, a little friend of mine before. I would fucking you have one? I, yeah, one. The one little friend. The one little friend. His name's Harry, and he's from HR. But I was chatting to Harry and HR, and I would love to have Fifi down under in Australia. Would you buy the tickets? <laughs> you, know, you know, you should, because she's an amazing entertainer. She truly is. You don't have to talk to her, just watch her perform. She's <laughs> amazing. We can always do a show without the talk spots, right? You guys, would yeah. you prefer that, or do you like the talk spots? <laughs> you love the talk spots. <laughs> do you love the talk spots as much as you like free beer? Yeah. Oh. There's a, no. There, okay, there's a. There's Get some, them out of here. Get them out of here. This weirdo over here that doesn't like. Oh, well, this gets better at the end. I think. I've got a little game that I would like to pro, pro, propose to you all. Get your words together. Thank you. <laughs> She's done too much cake. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I will say this. The, the first time I was in Brisbane. I did a little drug called Tripsacy. I'd never heard of it before in my life, but it changed my life! The entire city came to life and I was in heaven. 
I was naked for about 12 hours in Ziggy Box with a wig on my head, and I thought the refrigerator called me a faggot, and I stabbed it. This is not, I'm not even kidding. These are actual events, and there's they're still, like, there's footage of it. So that's why I'm up But I do want to remind you guys that Cloudland is a drug-free establishment, so if you're holding narcotics on you, please pass them to me so I can dispose of them. Now let's carry on about those beers. Let's carry on about those beers. Now Detox in All Stars 2, of course, you get to, if you, if you win the challenge, you get to choose who the fuck goes home and, and, and who gets to stay. Right. Now we're gonna we, we're gonna incorporate it in this in this little bit that I like to call lip sync for your pint. Oh! Unfortunately, I don't have ten thousand dollars to give away. I've got no tip, but I do have a plastic cup of beer. And I'm gonna get two little assholes up here that are poor and can't afford beverages because they spend all their money on coming to see the drag race girls tonight. Who is poor and wants to get wasted? You pick one from over here, I'll pick one from over here. I wanna see how drunk you are. I want this bitch right here. Yes, I I want this bitch over here, yeah, I want her. Are we on two girls doing it? Good, I like this. Yes, please. Battle of the pussies, come on. You got it, baby, you got it, baby, you got it, baby. You got it, baby, yeah! Darling, what's your name? I love you, what's your name? It's Zoe! Zoe, Zoe! Yeah. And over here, I've got Ariana Grande playing Tatiana, who's playing Ariana Grande. Tatiana. I'm gonna take your drink and pop it down here. What's your real name, darling? Everyone say hi, Savannah! <laughs> Detox. <laughs> <laughs> These two bitches, we're, we're gonna make them lip sync for their pints. Lip sync for your pints. She doesn't drink beer. <laughs> oh, okay, so now she's being choosy. She's being choosy. <laughs> My bitch already wins! Yeah! <laughs> Zoe says she'll drink anything. In, now, in world such as mine, a plastic pint of beer is really important. And in a night like this, there's nothing, there's nothing better than feeling wasted and seeing drag queens on the stage. No one wants to see a queen sober. It's boring. It is. It's really boring. It is. It's really, really boring. Listen, I've been back there with a bunch of other queens, and I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, did I get fucking drunk already? <laughs> <laughs> I have to hear one more of these assholes talk about their fucking career. <laughs> What are you lip-syncing to? Who knows? That's about to find out. Zoe? 